everybody and welcome back. My name is Jeffy and this is my best friend, Android the Chihuahua. Today we're going to be sharing with you guys a really cool project that I've wanted to try for a really long time. It's called the One Pot Wonder. We are going to be taking four different colors and then we're going to pour them into one pot and do a really cool back and forth swirling design with them. Before we get into this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. Subscribing to our channel is a 100% free way that you can help our channel grow. So our scent of the day is going to be this rejuvenating eucalyptus. The reason I'm picking this is because it says it does not discolor in cold process and it behaves well in cold process. I've had issues with the fragrance oil speeding up the process of our soaps. And also in my last batch, the scent oil I put in, I don't even know how to describe it other than it would not combine with my lye water and other oils. It was just seeping out. It was an absolute terrifying mess. So I picked the easiest looking scent oil we could possibly pick for this project. That is the game plan for the day. So because our scent oil is eucalyptus, I was thinking we wanted some green for this and green and white is cool together, but I wanted to take it just a little bit farther. So I also picked out this really cool bright blue mica powder. And then this is the green that I selected. It's pretty stinking green. And this gorgeous light purple. Um, I think the purple might be a little bit light compared to the other two colors, but I'm going to put white in between all the layers, so hopefully they won't blend together too bad, and hopefully we get a cool design. I know when you make a loaf of soap, you're kind of guessing what the inside's going to look like. You have a general idea, but you never really know until you get your final cut. I also want our top to look a little extra interesting, so I have prepped us a little piping baggie. I'm making about two and three quarter pound of our soap base. That way we'll have an extra three quarters of soap to do a fun little piping on the top. All right, so all we have to do now is separate our colors into these little baby containers that I have. I get these on Amazon. I'm gonna put about one and a quarter teaspoon of our mica powder in each of these little cups. And that's because I'm gonna be using just over a half of a pound of soap in each of our colors. Then I'm going to add just a little bit of our oils to each of these and give them a good mix. Adding the oils in and mixing them with your mica powder ahead of time will really help your colors disperse and your final soap batter. Also, you know, it's just nice to have everything measured out before you add your lye to your water because once that happens, at least for me, I'm in like focus mode, you know? Like we got limited time here and we want this soap to turn out right. So everything's got to be prepped and ready to go. I usually have all of my supplies on my table even like if I'm not gonna need it till the end, like here I have some holographic glitter. I don't even know if we're gonna use this for sure. We might, we might not. We'll see how we're feeling at the end, but it's here. It is here just in case we need it. I don't have to run anywhere. We are set and ready. All right, let's begin our wonderful soaping project. All right, so I'm gonna excuse our best friend here because he can't be around the lye water or the soap. Next up is our lavender. I've added about four teaspoons of our oil mixture to each of these cups. It doesn't really matter how much you put in each of them as long as they're all pretty even since we're going to be splitting our batter into four equal parts. Our colors are really nice and mixed and now I'm ready to add my lye water to my oil and I'm just going to stick blend it until I get a light trace. And now I'm just going to add in a little bit over two ounces of our fragrance oil. Next, I'm going to use a whisk to stir in our oils, and this just helps it to not speed up. If you use your stick blender here, it's going to speed up the process of your soap setting. Here I have four different little cups, and I'm just going to be splitting our soap batter up evenly into these four. Now we're going to be adding our mica powder mixture, one to each of these four cups.
All of our colors look really well stirred together. They're really nice and sparkly. So now we're ready for our next step. So here I have a fresh bowl and you guys can't see it, but underneath it I have my scale. The first color I wanna pour is this lovely blue color. Now because we're using a two pound mold, I'm gonna to need to use eight ounces of each of these colors to fill our mold to the top. And then whatever is left, we're gonna to use to top our bar off with some piping. So I'm just going to pour this blue into the bottom until I get to eight ounces. Next, I wanna use half of my white. So we're gonna be pouring four ounces of white and I'm just gonna to start to pour it down the side here and that'll help us create some layers of color. Next, I'm going to be pouring 8 ounces of our purple. Then I'm going to do 4 more ounces of our white. And then to finish it off, I'm going to be using 8 ounces of our green color. Here I have a two pound soap loaf and I'm just gonna turn it on its side and start slowly pouring back and forth along this edge. I think this is the last time I'll be using this mold. I really dislike how it's coming in off the sides here. So now what we have left is just a little bit in each of these cups. And as you guys can see, they are really runny still. So I'm going to wait just a few minutes till these get a little bit harder. And then I'm going to pour them all into one bag and we will be able to begin icing the top of our loaf. Our colors have come to a really nice thick consistency and they're ready to be put into our bag. I want us to get a good mixture of the colors, so I'm just kind of plopping them in next to each other. So this is what our icing bag looks like with all of our colors in it. I think I did a pretty good job of getting a nice mixture, so hopefully this looks cool on top of our soap. Our soap loaf has also thickened a little bit, and that's good because it'll give a nice little shelf for our icing to sit on top of. I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick alcohol spray just because it's been sitting here so long. I want to make sure that our layers stick together well. Then I'm just going to start on one side here icing. I'm really loving these colors. They look like a nice little magical swirl. Now I've begun a second layer and that's just to give our bar a little bit of height. And I think I'm going to do one more final layer. Our loaf looks so good. I really love this. I think I am going to add just a little bit of that fine glitter powder. This is just a little duster that I got at Brambleberry. It works great for putting a nice light coating of something on like this glitter we're about to use. I've preheated my oven to the lowest setting and I'm just going to turn it off and put this in there. I'm really excited for us to see the cut of this tomorrow. So this is our finished bar. I'm feeling really satisfied with it. My favorite part is definitely this end. You can already see the one pot wonder swirl going on. And now we're ready for our cut. So there's our swirl. It's even brighter than I was expecting it to be. I'm really in love with these colors. Putting that white in between them was a really good idea. 
Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video tutorial. If you want to buy this soap, it'll be available on my website in about 30 days. I'm so in love with our sparkly top and our beautiful little swirl. Hopefully I'll see you all again soon. Bye.